Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top-of-the-line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. Well, the bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach. But I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass and the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. I can't work off my time, and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Whatever you say, Hiffy. Here's Celso's file. That walking stick was too good for him. I don't want to reread the old files. It'll just make me sad. Read them already. Didn't help. Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me.
Domino's door is locked. Probably scared I'll steal one of his files. Not a bad idea, actually. Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? What poisoning? The Code 3 gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud. He'll know. Uh, I forget. Am I supposed to be somewhere right now? Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? No, but I like to hear your description of it, just for kicks. Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here, having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. What if we just skip town tonight? You and me, baby. Well, thanks for the offer, but we'd never make it out of the city alive. But... In one piece, I mean. I bet I could get you out, if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you. You're a trapped soul and you don't even know it. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Okay, you show those bricks a lesson. We can't operate cars. That's how they keep us from skipping town. Since I really didn't get to celebrate the festival this year, I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos. Hey, what's going down, clown? Hey, back off, suit. I'm practicing. Practicing what? Ring in your neck. What does it look like? Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead. Name one. Okay. A cat. <laughs> no problem. Ta-da! Can I walk 
through your tent, I want to see the parade. Well, walk through someone else's tent, all right? Do I look like a turnstile to you? Can you teach me how to do that? Well, um, since you're a beginner, why don't you practice the first step? Which is? Blow! Another one. Lousy, bony fingers. I have to go. That sound makes me want to kill somebody. You too? Festival, huh? Yeah, yeah, pretty busy. My carpal tunnel syndrome's really acting up. But you don't have any tendons. Yeah, well, you don't have a tongue, but that doesn't seem to shut you up now, does it? My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez, what now? A dead worm. Heck, that's easy. There's no limit on those. It's a deflated balloon. 